Hello, in this video we will be talking about the media library in Venus Control Suite. The media library is where your media is stored from your videos, images, and even presentations that you've created within Venus Control Suite's web editor or content studio. The media library can be used to organize your media, add or delete media files, and access any of your media files that you've stored in the future. The media library can be accessed from two different locations, either the web editor or the scheduling apps. If you go into either of these apps, you'll see an icon that looks like a mountain range with a sun on the left. Click this to access the media library. The media library between these two locations talk to each other, so anything that has been uploaded from the media library in the web editor app, for example, will also be accessible from the media library in the scheduling app and vice versa. Within the media library, there are several actions you can perform. You can upload new images or videos by either clicking add new at the top, then clicking on the newly opened screen and navigating through your computer to find what you would like to upload. You can also just drag and drop content directly from your file explorer. After you upload new files and click on next, you'll be given the ability to tag them. Tagging files will be helpful with organizing them in the future and grouping them together. Maybe you'll tag files by event or holiday or month. It's completely up to you how you organize your media. Media files can also have multiple tags applied to them as a way to organize them even further. And if you forget to apply tags when you first upload media, don't worry, you can always apply tags in the future as well. Next to add new is a drop down arrow. There are four options under here. Upload files takes you to the same location that clicking on add new does. New Content Studio presentation will open up the Content Studio application. This is an application that's similar to the web editor within Venus Control Suite. It's another way to create presentations. If it doesn't open up when you click on this, that might mean that you don't have Content Studio downloaded onto your computer. You can download that by going to https colon forward slash forward slash www.dactronics.com forward slash content studio. Keep in mind Content Studio is only available on Windows based computers. Also under that drop down arrow is new web presentation which opens up a new tab to the web editor application within Venus Control Suite to create a new presentation within there. And lastly, explore free content takes you to our free content website. The pencil, price tag, and trash bin icons will require you to select one or multiple media files first by clicking the checkbox to the left of them. The pencil icon allows you to associate the media files you've checked, which can be useful if you have advertisers you are associating media files to. It also allows you to tag those files. The price tag icon also allows you to tag those files by either entering in a new tag and clicking the plus icon, or selecting any previously used tags from below. And the trash bin icon will allow you to delete those files. The media library can be viewed in either a list view, which is the default, or a grid view, which will give you larger thumbnails of each of your media files. File association and tagging can also be done to individual files by clicking on the thumbnail for that file rather than the checkbox to the left of it and the icons above. This will open up a slided menu on the right, which allows you to associate that file to a specific advertiser and also tag it. From here you will also be able to view specific details about that file, and if it's an image, video, or content studio file, 
you can download it to your computer. Lastly, in the media library, you can filter your files in a number of ways. You can search for specific files by typing out keywords. This will bring up any files that have those keywords in them. You can sort by newest first, oldest first, most recently modified, alphabetical, or reverse alphabetical. You can choose to only show files in a specific association. You can choose to only show files that have been added in the past day, week, or month. You can filter files by the pixel dimensions. You can filter by the file type, such as video, image, web editor presentation, content studio presentation, web links, or HTML files. And last, but certainly not least, you can also filter using your tags. Selecting multiple tags will filter more specifically by only showing items that have all of the tags that are selected applied to them. We hope that you find the Media Library an easy to use navigational and organizational experience. Please check out our other released videos and stay tuned for more videos on Venus Control Suite that will be released in the future.